Hello and welcome to our video series covering common maintenance practices for ground logic machines. Today we are covering how to access the engine pull start on the Pathfinder and the Pathfinder XC. Let's start by reviewing the tools you'll need. A 3 8 impact driver or ratchet wrench, a 6 inch extension, a 7 16 socket, a half inch socket, a 7 16 end wrench, and a half inch end wrench. Start by removing the front cover of the machine. This will allow easier access to two of the fender bolts. Using the 7 16 inch socket, remove the two gas tank hold down bracket bolts. Use the 7 16 inch end wrench to hold the nuts from turning. Using the half inch socket, remove the front two fender bolts. Using the half inch end wrench to hold the nuts. These two nuts are most easily accessed from the front of the machine. Removing the front cover in the earlier step made these nuts accessible. Before we remove the rear bolt, let's take a look at the location of the nut holding that in. As you can see, it's located inside the right fender just to the right of the shifter. After that bolt is removed, the fender and the fuel tank will be free. Make sure to remove the fuel vent hose so you can swing the assembly out of the way and use caution not to damage the fuel line. There should be enough slack in the fuel line to allow the assembly to rest on the floor while making repairs to the engine pull start. When the repairs are complete, reverse the process installing the fender assembly, reattaching the fuel vent hose, and installing the front cover. That wraps up our video today covering engine pull start access for the Pathfinder series machines. We'll be adding more videos soon, so keep checking back.